Good day everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to Clean Media Photography. Today I'm here to show you this amazing tool called Skin Finer and how it works and what you can do with it. Uh, I've chosen this image uh, to show you uh, what you can do with it. As you can see here, I've shot this image with a uh, Fujifilm X-T4 with an uh, 18 to 55 mil lens. Um, yes. So before I can do anything to the image, and you can actually see that the lady has got a lot of blemishes on her face. So what I normally do, I, I balance the lighting on my image uh, just to make sure that I've got uh, good foundation to start off to be able to work on the image before I can go any further. So I'm just going to do a minor little bit of touch-ups here and there. But it's nothing major. You can do your own touch-ups the way you know how to. So then I open the image to Photoshop. There's my image now on Photoshop. And then uh, before I can do anything, before you can do anything with the image, you need to at least be able to quickly remove the blemishes if the person has got lots of, of blemishes especially when you're doing screen retouching on a close-up uh, shot like this one this is what you actually do so that you can get a decent looking image so after doing this then you look at your image just you can even go to a body and remove these things but this is not the right way of removing blemishes guys I have I've made a video about it and how you can remove blemishes and still not lose detail or skin texture so this is just a quick way so that i can be able to show you how the skin finer works because this video is mainly about the skin finer not about the blemishes there is a video for that okay cool well i've removed what i can and then uh, let me show you where you can find your skin finer after you have installed it you will go to filter then you scroll down to a uh, photo toolbox then you go to skin finer then the minute you open skin finer skin finer already smoothens your your picture it's up to you to say okay i like the way that uh, it has been done already and then you just click okay then you go or you can go to this uh, 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 drop down here then there is already presets that you can choose as you can see this one adds a bit of contrast to this one lightens the image this one is high skin smoothening which means it's too much it's a preset and then uh, there is light one it does a little bit and then there's medium and minimum. there you go okay good then no i i needed to be on default this is it and then so that you can have more a bit of more control on how you can apply and balance your skin finer and then yeah if there is areas on the images that you see not selected you will only see from this uh, box here on your left on the preview mask so if there is an area where it's dark like you see it does not highlight the lips it keeps the lips off and the eyes because those areas are meant to be sharp you cannot smoothen the eyes you cannot smoothen the lips or the ears you see so should there be any area on the skin that you would like to add that is that you just take the, the picker tool and then pick that area on the skin then make sure it, you add the the, 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 the the space and then if you don't want uh, uh, some area that has been selected and you want to take it off you will take the picker tool and then with the minus then you will subtract this area and as you can see what i'm when when i'm subtracting it also subtracts from this uh, preview mask area so here down here that skin tone as you can see it says skin tone so on the skin tone that's where you can work around changing the skin tone of the person brightening the image increasing the contrast on the face of the person or the skin of the person and work on the highlights separately and then if you're happy with the results because this actually uh, is tools that you can use 
to be able to achieve the results that you want because you know images are different i have this image the lady has got light skin already and then you might have uh, a dark skin uh, or someone who's in the middle in between so it's not the same really and the skin tones are actually different all the time so you might need to work separately on your skin tone to achieve better result you need to take your time so that you can get better result this tool is very quick and easy and simple you can be able to edit a lot of images very quick so now when you're done you click ok and then it will process the image and then as you can see it has processed it has done the skin smoothly so meaning that i'm done with this image if you want more videos like this you need to subscribe like and comment and share with friends and then on the uh, uh, comment section i've attached a link where you can go and download the skin finder thank you